across this red belly. Now these guys here are mainly frog eaters, um, but they will also eat other snakes, um, skinks, things like that. And you can see he is getting a bit defensive. So he's flattening out his neck like that, making himself look big. A lot of the, the snakes around here will do that, so the tigers and the coppers and things like that. These guys are live bearers um, and a, an adaption to living in the cooler climate so that the young have a, have a better chance of surviving. And this guy really is a typical um, red belly black snake, so he's really black. Probably not as gloss black as he could be, might be going into shed. Um, and then he's got the red stripe all around and then a full red belly as well. Now copperheads often get mistaken for these guys because um, they can get quite dark with a bit of a sort of orange as well. Um, but yeah, this is sort of a very typical typical red belly. They do come uh, in, there's a bit of variation in them, so they will come a bit lighter, a bit of brown on the head and things like that. But um, yeah, this is sort of a very iconic snake and this is really as, as iconic as it gets, um, this specimen here. You can hear him hissing a little bit, him arcing up. Generally, they won't lunge, but if I kept getting in his face, he would. So you can see him just living in this dam here. Plenty of frogs around. Plenty of areas to bask and, and endless food. 